Okay, hello guys. Um, I was asked um, by uh, a user, a subscriber to my channel, and that's the name of the guy. Thank you for the question, Hazem. Okay, his question was, what about intermediate hinges? We cannot represent those in Winbeams. Okay, moments or moment at intermediate hinges is always zero. Correct. Doesn't matter, right? No, it does matter. Okay, anyways, great. Just thank you. Okay, so in this video, I'll try to do uh, an example of how to use one beam to get the shield and bending moment diagrams and, of course, the reactions. But in this case, I will introduce the moment release or what is he referring to as the intermediate hinges. Okay, let me show you, like, how does it look like in a textbook? Uh, okay. So the question we're going to do is draw the shear and bending moment diagrams for the compound beam. The segments are connected by a pen at B. Okay, so the segments, the two segments, makes the compound beam are connected by a pen. Here is the pen, right here. Okay, so we know if if you study structural analysis, uh, you you know definitely that the moments or the moment at uh, the pen B should equal always to zero. Uh, I will not go over the theory behind it. Why do you use it? Uh, you can Google this. You can go back to your textbook. But in general, sometimes uh, if we introduce these hinges or pens, we can uh, minimize the size of the member uh, because we are making the failure of the member basically sometimes in or basically al always in shear in this case because these pins can al only take shear forces and they cannot take bending moment but uh, going back to Wimbeam let's see how can we do this okay let me switch to Wimbeam uh, fresh page on Wimbeam okay description we don't need to do this uh, let's do the units add Again, if you remember, if you have all the properties, uh, like the modules of elasticity of the beam, uh, the cross-section, go ahead and choose it's either English or metric. But since, going back to the question, we are not given any of those, so I'm going to go with consistent. So let's hit consistent. Okay, what about the properties? Okay, starting from zero all the way to the end of the beam, I'm going to have the same E. Let's assume it's... Uh, 100 and this one is 1000 I mean you can assume any numbers but just don't assume zeros okay uh, okay so let's continue moment release I will skip this for a moment so I will show you how to do it but let's do the support first the supports if I want to add let's look at the image again there is support as at x equals to zero so if I do this and assume that my uh, axis goes like this in this direction and so it starts from zero here and I have four and I have five and I have six okay sorry for the bad handwriting this time I'm using the mouse to write the numbers anyways you get the idea now so uh, going back to beam so I have a support at zero the displacement is zero. If you assume the displacement and the, uh, the rotation to be equal to zero, you are introducing a fixed support or the fixed end. If you are assuming a zero displacement and leaving the rotation uh, empty with no zero, you are assuming it's a pen. So I'm going to say zero and empty basically. Okay, nothing shows up here. But if I go back to supports, add, and before I add it, let's double check on the distance. I have another support here that's six meters or six units away from my first support so I'm gonna go here six and uh, again the displacement is zero but since I have a fixed end I'm gonna say the rotation is fixed so okay the beam looks okay but how can I introduce the moment release or the pin or the hinge okay now I can go back to moment releases and add where was the moment release or the pen. Looking back at the question, it was at 4 right here. So it's very easy to input this. Let's do 4. And that's it. And here's what I'm talking about. Okay, time to add the loads. 
I have a point load 8 at a distance 5 so point loads at distance 5 minus 8 because it's pointing downwards so it's gonna go like this and I do have a distributed load from A to B or from 0 to 4 with a 5 value okay uniform load and from 0 to 4 and it's a negative 5 negative 5 okay double check 5 0 to 4 yeah everything looks okay so now I'm just, just basically ready to know what uh, all the uh, information I need for this beam like the reaction okay if we click here boom we have the reactions okay turn off the reactions look at the shear okay so it's 9.999 and that's basically a 10 and this one's negative 18.000 that's basically negative 18 okay and of course the moment and we can see that the moment goes like a maximum and then goes to zero here that's the moment release and goes like that okay and again if, if you want to know the moment value or the shear value at any distance just go to the data tab right here and start moving your uh, mouse along the beam you have a distance x and you have a value okay so uh, that's basically how to do it thank you Mr. Hazen for the question and I hope I did answer it for you thank you guys